Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. And I'm excited to show you today this new 2024 Integra Expanse. Uh, this product is relatively new for us. We've had it out in the market for almost a year now. And I can tell you, it has received some incredible reviews and folks are loving it. I want to do a walk around today for you to show you what's new for this model year, uh, but then also point out some of the highlights of this coach. First of all, it's on an incredible chassis. This is the Ford Transit. 350 HD chassis. This chassis is as smart as any of your vehicles at home. It has a lot of safety features for you. It has your blind spot monitoring system, has adaptive cruise. Inside the head unit, it does have a 360 camera. It does have side and rear assist. So what that means is there's sensors back there. If a car is shooting behind you, either from uh, left to right or right to left, uh, you'll get an indicator that uh, a car is back there. Also, if you're backing up, it'll give you an indicator that, uh, that there is a vehicle back there. So super safe system, absolutely incredible chassis. And here's the, the, the key feature to top it off. It is all wheel drive as well. Uh, so this is a dual rear wheel chassis and it's all wheel drive. So you're gonna be able to take this, uh, not the same place as you're gonna be taking your four x four truck at home, but at the same time, it'll get you out of a lot of precarious situations. Either you're driving and uh, the roads start to become a little bit slushy. You can have confidence that it's all wheel drive. Maybe you wanna take it um, to some softer sandy areas, uh, not mud pits, but softer sandy areas. You'll be able to get into those places as well by the beach, et cetera. So great chassis, we're excited to be building on it as a manufacturer. Uh, so wanted to highlight some of those things for you. Now this is our generator version. This is the standard Expanse. We do ex build an Expanse Li as well. So real briefly, let me tell you the difference between the two. Uh, the generator version is gonna have two uh, 12 volt batteries that will power the house, but then also a generator. So it's gonna be very similar to your traditional RV where you're relying on shore power and you're also relying on your generator. The lithium version that we do offer, it is a 48 volt system, 210 amp hour battery. That may be uh, just gibberish to you. Let me explain what that means. The way you figure out your fuel capacity on lithium is not just by highlighting your amp hour battery. Some manufacturers will do that. They'll point out they have a 400 amp hour battery. They fail to tell you how much fuel is in that lithium system. This is a 48 volt system, 210 amp hour battery. The way you figure out your fuel system is to end up with your watts. Why your watts? Because everything runs off of watts. So 48 volts times 210 amp hours, it gives you more than 10,000 watt hours of usage on this system. So absolutely incredible. Nobody else in the marketplace is able to compare to the size of fuel system we have for the lithium, but then also the efficiency of it. Why do I say the efficiency? Because our air conditioner is a 48 volt system as well. So I'm not having to have a DC to DC uh, converter taking a 48 volt uh, battery system to a 12 volt uh, air conditioner. I'm not having to have an inverter to where I'm running 120 uh, alternating current uh, air conditioner. Uh, I am running a 48 volt to 48 volt system. So very efficient. So what does that mean for air conditioner? Common question we get when we're at shows, when we're dealing with, with uh, the customer at the lot. How long can I run my air conditioner? Biggest question ever, right? Uh, our air conditioners, our 48 volt air conditioners are using about 900 watts of electricity an hour. This is a 10,000 watt hour system, usable is 90%. So we have 9,000 watts usable. So I take my 9,000 watts, divide it by 900 on my air conditioner. I'm running about 10 hours, about 10 hours on that air conditioner. Now I wanna caution you, as I said, 90% usable, that bottom 10% of the battery, uh, the battery goes into self-preservation mode to where it starts to shut down. It doesn't wanna to totally deplete itself. So. Though I have about 10 hours of runtime on that air conditioner, I wanna be cautious and not get down into that 10% level. The reason being is because um, as it goes into self-preservation mode, no longer can I use the alternator on my chassis to recharge my lithium system. I'm solely dependent upon my shore power. 30 amp, uh, 20 amp, 15 amp, the most efficient is gonna be 30 amp. So uh, as you start to use your lithium system, you get down into the 20% range, I need to start thinking through how am I gonna charge my lithium system? Now the cool thing 
about an Integra Expanse lithium is that we have auto engine start on it. We set the parameters here at the factory so that as you're using your system and you start to get down into that 20% state of charge, um, there's a trigger that comes from the Firefly system uh, to the chassis and your chassis will start up and, and charge your battery. Now that does have to be enabled. Uh, your local sales uh, individual at the dealership will be able to teach you how to enable it or call our factory. We'd love to help you enable that. Uh, but on model year 24, Expanse Lithiums, we will have auto engine start. So we're super excited about that. It's a great feature. Lithium is here to stay, uh, but you're going to have to factor in, is it worth the extra money or not? If you're going to be staying downtown Boston, maybe Indianapolis, could be South Bend, Indiana, or Great Middlebury, Indiana, where we're at, and you want to be on the side of the street and have your air conditioner run without super loud generator running, uh, that's when your lithium system will come into play. Or maybe you're boondocking and, and you just don't have um, the shore power to plug into, or maybe you, don't, you want to conserve the fuel on your chassis. That's where lithium comes into play. So I want to encourage you to do some research on lithium. Is it for you? If it is, we've got a great application in this Integra Expanse, uh, the Expanse LI, that would be great for you. So uh, enough of a plug on lithium versus generator, etc. Let's go down the side of this coach. You're going to notice we got an integrated fiberglass running board. Uh, absolutely beautiful, blends in with the chassis. If I had to stereotype this coach, I would say it's more of a, a couples touring coach. And and so we want it to look refined. We want it to look uh, sleek. And so we have the integrated uh, running board there as well as lights to illuminate your running board. Uh, a full length awning. This is a carefree awning. It does have a motion sensor in it. I do want to caution you if you are going away for the day, it's always wise to put your awning back in. Uh, those are not always foolproof. You get a big gust of wind that comes through, it starts to retract. That second gust of wind, if it's not in, in time, uh, it could damage your awning. So anytime you're away from the campgrounds, go ahead and, uh, and put your awning in. New for this year, you're going to see uh, a black uh, aluminum piece up there underneath the awning. Uh, in order to get a full length awning, uh, this is the awning we've had to use. Prior years, uh, that black piece that's up there, we've not had that piece up there, but we added that up there. Gives it a little bit more of a finished look. Um, it really doesn't do anything as far as functionality, just more so aesthetics. Coming back on the coach, uh, you will see that we do have a nice window here for ventilation. Um, coming back even further in your sleeping area, another window for ventilation. We wanna make sure that you are able to get enough cross breeze in this and feel comfortable as you're sleeping in there. Uh, we do have a, a 120 volt outlet out here. Uh, potentially you wanna bring along an induction cooktop, potentially you wanna bring along a coffee maker. Uh, you're able to make that outside of the coach while folks are still inside sleeping or maybe just wanna enjoy the beautiful morning wherever you're at. Uh, the, the outlet out there is great. Uh, this does have a Truma system. This is the exhaust vent for our Truma hot water system. So that's gonna heat uh, both your your uh, water that you're using inside your coach, whether it's your sink, your shower, but then also it's gonna provide your heat inside the coach as well through some heat exchangers. So Churma is a very efficient system, very reliable. We've been partnered with them for a number of years, and so we decided to stick with them on this coach. Uh, you're gonna love this heating system and hot water system. Very efficient, it uh, sips fuel versus guzzles it, and so you're gonna be able to be camping longer. Coming around the back side of the coach, this is, as I mentioned, uh, the Ford Transit all-wheel drive. It does have the 3.6 EcoBoost in it, so it is very uh, fuel efficient. It's a great engine. Ford's had that out for a number of years now. They've carried it over into the Transit, and so um, you're going to love the engine, the chassis as a whole. We do give you a hitch on this. Uh, this hitch, let me tell you, is not to be pulling uh, your auxiliary vehicle that you're towing around. That's what's great about vans. You can tool around in these. You can go into the city. You can go out into the sticks, and that's what a van is for. So this hitch that we provide is more so uh, probably for an aftermarket accessory. Could be a kayak holder. Could be a storage box. Great thing about van life is that there's so many accessories that exist today for you to customize the rear end of this coach and so that hitch is going to be the key component for you getting more space and also more usability as you're going down the road on this. Uh, wrapping around as I mentioned we do have a rear backup camera Ford provides that uh, but then on this side of the coach we do have 
another 120 volt outlet. We do have uh, a nice LED auxiliary light that will illuminate your, the side of your coach for camping. Uh, but then also as you are out and about, <clears throat> maybe you're on this side and you need to see uh, clearance underneath the tire, ground clearance, etc. Just turn that light on and it'll give you everything you need. Cable TV, satellite input for when you're at the campsites, um, your 30 amp uh, hookup and then also your city water connection. Now going back to this cable TV satellite input, I didn't talk about what's on the roof of this coach quite yet, but let me do it now. This does have a WineGuard 2.0 Connect on it. WineGuard 2.0 Connect is great because it has a free feature and a paid feature. Your free feature is when you're at a campsite, maybe the the, the campground office is a ways away. That's where the, the router is, and so you're picking up a weak signal. There's antennas inside of that WineGuard Connect that'll grab that weak signal, amplify it, so that inside of your coach you have a very adequate hotspot. The paid feature is maybe you want to go uh, 4G or LTE. Um, you can get a data card from your cell provider, and that is a paid feature, as I mentioned. You don't have to use it, and then you'll be able to have a mobile hotspot going down the road. On the roof of this coach as well, there's 200 watts of solar. Uh, it's great. It's able to keep your batteries uh, essentially trickle charged, uh, topped off if, if it's in storage. Um, but also new for this year, we are optioning a 300 watt solar blanket. That'll get plugged into this port right here. Nice thing about that 300 watt solar blanket is it is adjustable. You can put it in any direction. So uh, if you're under the trees, you can take it out into a clear area. As the sun rotates, you're able to rotate it as well. Um, that solar blanket is a great option. It's a great addition to this coach. And I would encourage you to consider purchasing that if you are utilizing uh, this in more of the off-grid scenario. New for this year, we are super excited to be partnering with Starlink. Um, if you don't know what Starlink is, Google Starlink uh, Satellite Internet. This coach, we are optioning satellite internet courtesy of Starlink. And so um, Starlink has some incredible reviews out. If you are out in the sticks, it's really one of the most reliable internet services that exist. And so new for model year 24, we're optioning Starlink on the Expanse and also the Expanse Li. Um, so that is everything that's on the roof of this coach. Let's go inside this beautiful coach and let me show you a little bit more. So now we're inside this awesome coach. And as I mentioned, this, this chassis provided by Ford is absolutely incredible. Out of all the chassis we build upon has the most leg room up front. So if you're a taller individual, you're gonna love the spaciousness of this cab. You're gonna notice as well the massive infotainment center that Ford provides us with. That's gonna be your rear cameras. It's also gonna be uh, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. In reality, you can see that thing from sitting in the back of the coach. It, Ford has done an incredible job on this chassis. Uh, we do recover the seats as we get them in. Uh, these are an ultra leather seat, one of the most comfortable in the industry in my opinion. Take a seat when you're on the dealer's lot and you'll be able to experience that for yourself. As you turn around a little bit, you're gonna see the, the workstation that we've provided. That workstation, that table does flip down. You're gonna see 120 volt as well as a USB uh, connector down below. That is for when your driver's seat does swivel around, you have a nice workstation. Uh, say in the back, somebody's watching television, you can be working remotely on this. Um, both seats will swivel. We do provide a lagoon mount on the front passenger seat as well. Um, coming back into the coach, you're gonna see just an absolutely beautiful coach in my opinion. Like I said, this is more of a couples touring coach. We are utilizing Technoform overhead cabinetry. These are a high gloss. Um, a lot of times folks will wonder, how in the world do I open this? There is a center latch. Uh, sometimes the tension is tight, so I push with my thumb, pull with my other fingers, it opens up. And what you're gonna find in here, what do we have here? We do have a JBL Flip 5. New for this model year, we have omitted exterior speakers and interior speakers, recognizing the functionality of a Bluetooth speaker is so much greater than wired speakers. And so this will mount under your overhead cabinet. Great thing about this is I can be inside playing my music while, while I'm either doing the dishes or, or making a meal. And then once the meal's ready, going outside, just take my speaker outside with me. Um, I can take this out and about while I'm canoeing, kayaking. I can take this while I'm hiking. I've got my music with me. And so like I said, we just really felt that this was a lot more functional 
than a wired system within this coach. You will see a two burner LP cooktop here. Uh, this is cast iron grate, so with time it's not gonna warp, it's not gonna bow um, enough space for both your pasta and your pasta sauce. Um, we do have a nice deep sink back here for a B-Van. Um, really, are you gonna be storing up a week's worth of dishes inside of here? Probably not. I would encourage you to do your dishes on a daily basis if you're hashtag van life but at the same time, a nice sink for this size of a coach. You're gonna see that down below, we do have a nice high gloss uh, cabinet drawer and door fronts. Um, they are hardwood and so absolutely beautiful inside of this. One of the unique things about this coach is gonna be the refrigerator. Inside of a coach this size, tell me where you're gonna find a, re a refrigerator this large. Enough room in here for multiple days out on the road. If, uh, if you're gonna mix this with, with some already prepared food or AKA boxed food, you can go a week inside of this coach while having uh, enough fresh food. Uh, your freezer is, is a nice almost one cubic foot area. So you're gonna be able to put your popsicles up there, your uh, frozen meals, enough, as I said, for a few days at least. Um, when we are using the lithium system, as I mentioned, this will be a 48 volt air conditioner. Uh, now it is just your standard 120 volt alternating current air conditioner. So uh, this is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. As we come further back into the coach, you're gonna notice that we do have jump seats on either side with a storage drawer under this side. We also give you a lagoon table back here. This lagoon table is nice. Um, it does rotate, articulate in every direction, gets out of the way when you wanna walk through or say I am out here um, wanting to sit down and eat and enjoy myself. There's enough room on here if I slide over uh, two people, as long as they're not having a Thanksgiving buffet, can utilize this table very easily. Great thing about this floor plan is um, just this rear lounge. Uh, inside of a, a B-Van, where are you gonna go to relax uh, that is comfortable? We've given you this rear lounge, this rear sofa. It is very comfortable. And also this will turn into your bed. So above my overhead cabinet, there is a power switch. This is a power rear bed. So because this Lagoon table mounts here, it will not go flat, so I won't demonstrate it in total, uh, but it does go totally flat. And then these uh, jump seats do fill together to give you a large king size area here in the rear to be able to sleep. We do have a 12 volt television back here. So as I'm sitting back in my, in my sofa area, I can watch television. As I've referenced on the outside, we do have sliding windows on either side for ventilation. Well, then also with um, night shades, and then we have day shade, AKA screen as well. And so I'm able to get really the most out of this coach while I'm camping or while I'm out and about. Windows are open, I can put my screen up. Nice thing about these day shades is as well, they block some of the UV rays, so it's not gonna get hot in here as well. Uh, this system, this coach is run by the Firefly system. It's a multiplex system. You're able to download the app to your phone. So you can be out at the campsite and it's starting to get cool out. You can turn on your furnace inside. You can turn on lights inside. Uh, you can control your whole system from your app. So it's a great, great uh, multiplex system. We use it uh, exclusively on, on almost all of our products. In fact, we do it on all of our B vans currently. And so it's a great system. But as I referenced, my name is Corey Weatherton and I am the Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. I wanna encourage you that if, if you fell in love with this floor plan, fell in love with this product, go to your local Integra dealer, ask them to see this unit, ask any questions you have to them. Um, maybe some, it's a little bit more technical question and you stump them. Always feel free to call our factory. We'd love to answer any questions that you do have. Um, thanks for taking the time today to watch this video, and hopefully we'll see you next fall driving around in an incredible Integra Expanse.